Right, so I've managed to get in there, and fortunately there was a bit of organ playing, and then some piano. So I'll just have a quick walk round. Like I said, I'm not doing it in detail. I've done it in detail before, but the... And I spent the video in too bad condition. Um, I used to do lots of copies, and some have never been touched. They might have been played once, just to check. I did a lot of stuff, a lot of work in the early days. I would have been around every single grave, for example, here. And uh, what I can remember, I think, some of Bill's people were sort of over there. But he's got lots in there. Um, his Mark family ancestors were from here. Something just drawing me over this way. But uh, I can't remember exactly. Something just tells me it's over here, but I can't remember. I'd have to get the old video out. Yeah, here we are. Eric Frank Weber. Eric Frank Weber. And his beloved wife, Edith Ethel Weber. Yeah, that's, th that's them. And there's another one there. Look, George Weber. Died 1954, he's 75, and his wife, Jane, it looks like. Yeah, these are, the, these are the Weber family, and this one here as well. Now that one there, Cynthia Ida May Potter, knee Weber, 1920 to 2012. She wouldn't have been here when I last time I came here. Yeah, George Weber, he died 1967, age 80, and Elizabeth Weber, 1972, age 77, and Mervyn, their son, died in 1990. Yeah, so this is definitely some of them there. There's even a moon grave here, look, just, you never know, this could relate to Ollie. She's got moons in her family. This is Edward James Moon, who died 1913, age 62. I mean, you never know, you see. And Bessie. Yeah, so anyway, it's a really lovely church. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to do lots because I've already done quite a bit of video for one particular church which I've done before. But just to show you that, uh, I'm turning off for a minute.